Hello, I'd like to talk about writing. Uh, writing has to be right. Uh, there's a zero tolerance for mistakes in writing. You should always have the correct spelling, correct grammar, correct pronunciation. So here are a few things that you need to find the mistakes in and make corrections. Uh, here's the first, the first one. There's lots of um, spelling mistakes in here. Lots of spelling mistakes. Let's see if we can fix all of them. Um, here we go. That's better. So we put a K. There's a K on the end of check. Um, a few things to watch for when you're spelling them. Um, watch out for your. Is it your or your? As in you are. And there could be. There are three different theirs. Where it's there as in there, not here. Or there as in belonging to them. Or they are. And those are all there, 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 there. Uh, double letters. English has double letters. Um, sometimes there are rules, um, and sometimes there's just a double letter for no obvious reason. Watch out for double letters. If you're not sure, check. Um, and sometimes, if you do check, if you do use a word processor, if you're writing on a computer, the computer probably will check your spelling. And it may check your grammar. Um, however, sometimes there are words, there are many words in English. So your computer may think that the spelling is correct, but in fact it's the wrong word. So um, watch out for that. Um, next then, please use English words. Um, if you're going to use foreign words, then you need to use italics to show it's a foreign word. Um, of course, the word italics is an English word, so you shouldn't use italics for the word italics. Um, if you are using foreign words, it may be a good idea to add a definition, um, a description, an example. Um, usually there is a word in English. We have a lot of words in English. Um, most things you can find an English word for. Um, so next then, uh, grammar. Um, Grammar is uh, tricky. Uh, this is a very common mistake in English writing, is people make a mistake with the subject and the verb. They have to agree. So verbs have to agree with their subjects. I have, uh, he has, they have. So the first person, the second person, third person is different to the first person or second person. Um, third person singular, he, his, um, he, her, it, is different to third person plural, they. So um, he has, they have, um, it is, they are. So you need to watch out for those. Um, as you edit and change things, so you need to change both. Um, another thing on a similar subject, um, when you're writing... Um, you need to think about um, what's called point of view. So if you're talking about he or her, it should stay as her, 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 or he, 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 his, his, his. Um, writers are they, um, or you could talk about you. If you're talking about you, you need to keep you throughout, you, you, you. So it's some um, them, they, um, him or her. His or her. Um, so, watch out. Uh, next, um, punctuation. There are various rules for punctuation. Um, a basic rule is after punctuation, you need a space. So, comma, space, full stop, space, question mark, space, exclamation mark, space. No space before and one space after. Um, Next, then, um, exclamation mark. Um, one exclamation mark means wow. Uh, two exclamation marks is wow. I can't do three exclamation marks. Um, usually one exclamation mark is enough. Um, sometimes one exclamation mark is too many. Um, uh, next, then, uh, sentences, you need to start each sentence with a capital letter at the end of each sentence as a full stop. 
Um, and because of this, when you're writing numbers, you should not start a sentence with a number. Uh, is something else to watch out for. Um, next then, um, quotation marks. Um, and these are used for quotations. So this means somebody said this. Uh, to be or not to be, that is the question. Uh, that's from Hamlet by Shakespeare. So that needs to be in quotation marks. Um, don't use quotation marks for emphasis. Don't use them for foreign words. Uh, just use them for people. People said something, something people said. Um, what's known as greengrocer's quotes, um, often if you go to a market, you'll see fresh vegetables. Now, what this means, um, the person wants to say, oh, these vegetables are really fresh. But what this means is that somebody said these vegetables are fresh. And that means they're not fresh, just somebody said they're fresh. Uh, I also saw a picture of these um, cheese burgers. And I wonder, this means somebody said this. So somebody said this is cheese. So I wonder, what is it? Uh, it doesn't sound very tasty. Um, next then, computers. If you're using a computer in English, um, please use English, use English letters, um, type in English. Um, there is no henkaku in English. We use a keyboard. All of the keys, all the letters are on the keyboard. If it's not on the keyboard, it may not be English. Um, they are one byte characters, um, hankaku moji. Um, and use Western fonts. Um, Japanese writing looks good in Japanese fonts. English writing looks good in English fonts. Um, if you're using, if your text looks like this, um, then it will look terrible to people who are used to reading English. Um, it should look like this. Uh, next, um, capital letters should be used, uh, should not be used for whole words. Um, they're like shouting, so please don't use capital letters. Except, of course, you need to use capital letters at the beginning of a sentence, as we said. Uh, names, um, so Shinshi University is a name. Matsumoto is a name. Walter Weston is a name. Uh, they all need capital letters. Um, next then, um, those are all, what I've been talking about before is mostly rules. Those are things that you must do. Uh, there's a right and a wrong. Um, there's also what's called style. And style is often more guidelines as to what you should do. And it's better if you do this. This sentence is, the grammar is fine. Uh, the spelling is fine. The problem is, there are words in it that we don't really need. So, um, unnecessary redundancy. Um, redundancy means it's unnecessary. Um, cut out means the same thing as remove, means the same thing as delete. Uh, so we can just make this a lot shorter, get rid of those words we don't need, um, avoid redundancy. If you can remove a word, cut it out. Uh, next then the, is the passive voice um, or active voice. And try when you're writing, um, we need subject, verb, object. We need to know um, who is using the passive voice or the active voice. Who are we talking about? Who is doing it? Um, and this is probably better. So you should not use the passive voice. You should use the active voice instead. Readers can understand sentences more easily if you make the subject clear. So this is telling us who does what. Um, next, this is uh, what's called prescriptive grammar. Um, and some people think that prepositions should not go at the end of a sentence. Uh, personally, I think this is nonsense. Um, but the person reading your writing may not think it's nonsense. Uh, so it's something to avoid if you can. Um, similarly, conjunctions. Um, and, because, so, but. Uh, some people think this is not a good word to start a sentence. 
Of course, people speaking do this all the time. Um, but writing, it's, um, it's maybe not very good writing style to do this. Um, finally, final piece of advice. There is no mistake here. Um, if there are any style rules that will make your writing ugly, please ignore them. Writing should be beautiful. So try to make your writing as beautiful as possible. Good luck.